Hi, this is Dr. Stephen Bracci, and I want to share with you the genetics behind eye bags and how some people can get eye bags in their 20s and 30s, largely because of inherited factors and not necessarily because of lifestyle. There's a lot of confusion about what causes eye bags and how it gets worse with time and age and the real causes of it. For many people, genetics is a big factor. So somebody can have eye bags in their 20s and 30s having the best lifestyle possible, but it's really an inherited factor because they have loss of support with time and age, but they also have a, a genetic component where they had a very skinny, I call it skinny, they were very skinny underneath the eye and they had a deeper crease than other people did. So if you start out with a very skinny under eye area and you mature, you're going to see those eye bags deeper and sooner than other people. And it can show up as early as their 20s and 30s. The next question is whether somebody can just have a better lifestyle and avoid all this and, and basically recover from eye bags. Not necessarily. Again, you can have all the good sleep and all the good diet, but if there's a genetic component, it's really not going to go away with lifestyle. The next question is why does the eye bags look worse with time and age? Why does it get worse as we mature? And again, with maturity, you're losing the support system below the skin, and what's happening is it's getting very hollow and deep underneath the eye, and there's a, there's a drop off. And so with dropping off of the skin, there's a deeper curvature and a darkening effect underneath the eye. So how can you treat this? Well, until recently, the only way to treat it was to camouflage it. You could paint some makeup or camouflage some uh, cover-up or concealer on there, but essentially what you're doing is you're masking the underlying crease. You weren't fixing it. You weren't repairing it. The other option that people had was to do surgery, and that was essentially just the opposite of camouflage. It was basically stretching and pulling the skin to make it more smooth, but that was an anatomical change. You were making changes to your anatomy to cover up that hollowing. The third option, which is the more popular one recently and the more natural one, is to do the eye-rise procedure where essentially what you're getting is you're getting a support system with various fillers in the crease itself and in the mid-face to elevate that skin and that volume that's been in that area that's been very skinny and the area that you've lost support to return it to a more anatomical, natural position. And the goal with that is to avoid makeup, to avoid surgery, and to always consistently look rested and real and natural. 